Yo, what's up? We're back with another episode of the High School Dropouts podcast. And today, it's not a lonely Thanks. episode. I'm really sorry over <laughs> there here. There you go. <laughs> He's not alone. <laughs> He's not alone for once. Actually, no. Nah, it was only a one. Or I'm case, always you know? alone, which you mean. Oh, God. Not actually, podcast, actually, you know? actually, I'm never alone. Got the inner demons always with oh, me. Oh, for real. Yeah, always keeping me up at night, bro. But uh, yeah, last episode we, you know, I don't know if Jordy explained, but me, I was busy, and I guess Luis was busy too. So you know, he had to do the episode on his own. Actually, but now, oh my god, words. Do you want to talk about uh, the wedding? <laughs> uh oh, that could be a good topic because you know, marriage and that. So I had to go to a wedding last weekend, which is why I missed the episode, and. Uh, you know the wedding was cool. It was it was like a typical wedding, you know. But uh, I mean, it wasn't anything too remarkable to talk about. But I did kind of want to touch on marriage. Period. You know, just like the, the concept of marriage, because that, that's actually been coming up a lot recently. Like a lot of my, like even my friends have been like, "Oh, marriage this, marriage that." I'm like, damn, like y'all really thinking about this right now? But um, I don't know. I mean, just to go over it, we went to Safford, Arizona, which is a little town up north somewhere where is that <laughs> and dude I, I don't even know it was only like three hours away though and dude they got married like on the side of like a road like semis were passing it was kind of ghetto <laughs> and it started raining dude like they were as they were getting married like literally as they were saying their vows they started like it started raining and they had to pull out umbrellas and it was embarrassing oh excuse me but um I don't know. And plus, they're both, like, pretty young. Like, I think she's, like, 26, 27, something like that. My cousin. Nah, that's old. Married. Old? 26? <laughs> I'm, I'm just kidding. Yeah. I'm just kidding. Yeah. But, um... Well, wait. I'm gonna be honest here. When I said old, low-key, though. Low-key. Hear me out. 26 is low-key old. Because, like, I feel like nowadays, people are getting married in their 20s. Like when they're 21 or 20 or like even 19 mm. like low-key <laughs> but you said 19 got it yeah. um yeah that's true should i, I should i that. well it's not even uh, is it lolly oh yeah she got engaged like already and like i think she was supposed to get married last month yeah but that i feel like that's like a rare case because most people don't get married at 19 you know but, my parents uh, to be did. Fair, are you serious? Probably. Oh wait, so did mine. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I forgot. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. And also, <laughs> I have a friend who she just turned eighteen, like literally. Well, I guess she's not a friend anymore, because I mean she was like a middle school friend, and she got married, and she she literally just turned eighteen, like a few months ago, and she got married, and I'm like, why? I think she only did it so that she could get out of the house. I don't even know. Okay. And also, a lot of our friends, like me and you have mutual friends who are Christian or like religious, and they like are waiting till marriage for like to do anything, to like to have sex, to do anything, to move in. Okay, all that stuff. that's kind of hard to believe because like it's Christian, bro. It's you Christian. Know? Wait. Oh, Wait. No, no, no! I mean the religion. No, the I religion. thought you were talking about Christian, like the no, the dude. Not Christian. That was like, that not nah, yeah, I was like, yo, that man, that man's not waiting. No, he's not waiting, right? He's not waiting. I'm saying like religious people, such as Christians, multiple. You're like, you should have said Catholics, because I feel like since we're like Hispanic, you're like Catholic. Catholicism. Well, like, it's because the friend, the, the, oh shoot, I hope this the friend that we know is Christian. That's why, but um. Uh, is Christian as in yeah no because you said it, it <laughs> is Christian like you made it sound like it's yeah yeah no not Christian <laughs> or practices like, Christianity yeah there you go but uh like the first time they're gonna topic. be having sex it's gonna be mercenary mercenary no what's it called <laughs> the position yeah missionary missionary <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> 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 Hey, bro. <laughs> Wait, what the hell is most like there to go out and like to recruit? Like what? Hey, bro. God damn. Bro, look, my first time I'm gonna go rough. Is she? <laughs> oh my god. 
Well, anyway, speaking of which, that is a topic for today. We were gonna discuss. I feel, when like, I feel like we were talking how? about one topic. I feel like we should go back a little bit. Yeah, go back a little bit. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then we'll we'll progress into it. But basically, we're gonna talk a little bit about relationships today, just like we did uh, a few episodes ago. But this time, we're gonna focus on like the serious stuff. Like last time, when we we're talking to Luis, we we're talking about like, oh, the dating process. Are you gonna call you each other boyfriend girlfriend? Now we're gonna talk about marriage and sex, starting with marriage. Because we so, both have a lot of experience in that department. Obviously. Oh yeah, yeah. We're both we're both married. We got like seven wives, bro. We seven kids, bro. Everything. Anyway, bro. Your do, do you remember Bach? The man had twenty kids. <laughs> oh yeah, that, that's crazy. How like, do you have twenty? Oh my god. Two of them were more famous than him. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, yeah, what what are you your thoughts on marriage, Jordy? What is your what's your take on marriage? Yep, bruh. Okay, so back back in the day when I was a a wee lad, like I still believed in love. Type beat. <laughs> Hold up, my acting up. Anyways, when I believed in love, like sophomore year, I want to say of high school. I was like, bro, like, mm-hmm. my end goal, my, at that point, like, okay. my end, I was, like, so horny. I don't know if it was, like, the horniness, like, the oh estrogen. I don't know what it was. The electrolytes. Wait, you said estrogen? I, I thought you didn't catch that. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, wait a minute. <laughs> you know, the, the raging teen hormones. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, like, I wanted to get married so bad. Like, my end goal, like... Like, when I graduated high school, like, I thought I was, like, immediately going to get married and have, like, a family. Wait, you wanted to get married? No, but, like, not, like, not, um, what do you, oh, my God, words, bro. <laughs> not, like, oh, my God. How do I say this? <laughs> Why can't I think of words, bro? Like, I didn't want to get married, like, immediately, but, like, but, like, in my mind, I thought that after I graduated high school, like, you know, like, I would start, like, thinking about marriage, you know? Like, damn. Like, you know, like, just, like, planning out a marriage, like, how it's going to work, and, you know, like, all that stuff. Yeah. And, like, I always thought that, like, marriage was, like, the end goal. Like, I was going to. Yeah. Like, I always thought that, like, once I got married, like, that was it for me. Like, I, oh. I finished the game. Why? <laughs> Whack. The final boss battle. Onto a new save file. <laughs> but yeah. Nah, that's... <laughs> that's what I thought. And then, like, I got my heart broken. And I got, like, <laughs> severe depression. I was like, you know what? Marriage is not it. <laughs> Facts. So, what's your stance on it now? Um, Honestly, I don't see myself getting married in, like, the next 10 years. Same. Like, I want to get married, oh. like, eventually. But like, oh really? Yeah. Dang. Like some some simp part, like there's just a simp oh. molecule inside of me. Like there's still hope for you somewhere. <laughs> like, like under all this blackness and <laughs> depression, there's like a part of me that still wants to get married. Yeah. Cause like I feel like at that point, like, cause he could be dating, like, like you can have like ten girlfriends or whatever. Like, in my mind, like, like I know this is, uh, like, obviously wrong, but, like, in my mind, like, I still see it, like, you only get married, like, once or, like, but, like, you get married, like, rarely, you know, like, it's a special moment. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, I, I want to get married eventually, but not, like, I don't see myself getting married, like, the next 10 years, probably, like, when I'm 35 or, like, 36, even. <laughs> yeah. Oh <laughs> uh, damn, that's crazy, dude! I feel the opposite. I feel like I never want to get married. Like I, I feel like I don't even believe in marriage because, I mean, I believe in it. I know it exists, <laughs> but like I don't think it's, <laughs> I don't think it's like necessary. You know, like Bro, imagine raising like, your kid and like telling that marriage doesn't exist. <laughs> he like goes around like it's not real, man. It's like Santa Claus. It's like your mom and dad are married. <laughs> What's that, bro? Imagine, damn. Nah, but I just think it's um, 
yeah like it's, it's it's unnecessary and uh i think like i don't really get it is what i'm trying to say like what's the point you know because i think it just makes things harder like it makes divorce harder because when you're just together you could just break up whenever and figure it out um, amongst yourself but when you're married and you want to split up like you got to go through the court you got to go through like lawyers and like figure that all out it's like bro why why go through all that hassle just for some paperwork and uh, i mean i think that the idea of marriage is nice but just like the actual way that it is is kind of messed up um like for me personally like if i ever found someone that like i want to get married to and like i find myself like proposing and all that i would actually want to have a wedding but, yeah like, i was about to say yeah i was about to say can we have like the the whole wedding part without like the documents yeah because so, i feel like I the whole celebration like, like it's the whole celebration yeah, aspect like you yeah. know yeah yeah because for me like i love the the party well i, I wouldn't say i love it because i'm not really a party <laughs> type of guy but like it, i just like if i was getting married i would want to have the party you know i want to have like the family celebrating and, and like partying and listening to music whatever you know like yeah like having thing. like both parties both parties like both families like his side <laughs> his side yeah you know, and like, that would be sick yeah but just don't sign the paper like i don't want that i don't want like the extra complications like i want to just be able to be like that's my wife and that's it like cool i don't want to, like things to be that serious that like you're legally binded together like that's too much bro. especially because like a lot of what marriage is it's like super religious too so it's like sacred and like that just feels wrong like if if you do something because you know like supposedly like to in religion you're only supposed to get married once like you only get one shot like and if you like divorce but like that's like you're literally going against like the whole bible and everything so it's just like like bro i'd rather i'd rather just not do it you know like let me just like not take things so seriously and like you're literally like signing a contract with god and i don't know bro Con- first of all don't sign contracts period and so let alone for marriage Keep in mind that Jesus never got married. Jesus had hoes, though. You know Jesus had hoes. <laughs> you got There's it. no way. <laughs> <laughs> you don't walk on water and not get hoes, bro. That's, like, guaranteed. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I wish, wish Jesus was still around. Low-key. <laughs> <laughs> Why? I don't know. I feel like that man just be cool. Like, <laughs> that guy could turn water into wine, bro imagine like what if we just like found out that jesus was like like yeah he had all these powers but he's like just a regular ass dude like, I mean, like, like hey jesus what you do on the I mean, weekends isn't he's he just, like, just a regular ass dude <laughs> nah brother, he's literally god <laughs> <laughs> i mean i'm pretty sure he's just a regular ass dude like wasn't he like a carpenter <laughs> jesus yeah was he no was yeah like, he was he was just a carpenter oh my god Bro, I feel like I should know that. I go to church. I don't even know that crap. What the heck? <laughs> um, wow. Bro, we're out here. We're like the number one Christianity podcast. You did. <laughs> <laughs> That's so... <ironic. laughs> but, dude, like, didn't he, like, get resurrected? He got resurrected, bro. Like, this man was powerful as hell. You're telling me a carpenter? Damn, bro. That's crazy. You gotta stay humble like anyway, Jesus. Anyway, what were we talking about? <laughs> Um, when we were talking about marriage yeah marriage <laughs> anyway yeah i wouldn't want to get married i don't think i ever will but if i do it won't be soon it'll probably be like 20 years or something we're gonna be dead by then true <laughs> true why is this gonna get you <laughs> i don't know man and, and like oh especially so, oh that's another thing oh you go for it yeah i was gonna ask you because i feel like I don't know if this is like still like a deal breaker, but I feel like if you say this to a girl, like, like, oh, I, like, well, how? First of all, I have two questions. When would you mm-hmm. tell like your partner that you don't want to get married? Like, would it be like early in the relationship or like way late? Oh, wait, are you talking about me or just in general? You. Cause, oh, uh, me? Yeah. Well, the thing is, because I I'm... do <laughs> want to get, I, I, it's not like I don't want to, because I mean. If they want to get married, I'm not going to be like, nah. But I'll just be like, hey, like, that's, let's just have a wedding, you know? And I'm sure, like, I could convince them. Because, like, a lot of people our age think the same, you know? Like, a lot of people will be like, oh, yeah, like, I'd like to get, like, have a wedding but not actually get married. 
So I feel like it wouldn't be that hard. But let's just say it was. Is that what you're saying? Like hypothetically? Yeah, because you made it sound like you just didn't want to get married. <laughs> like, I'm not going to lie. Oh, well, I kind of don't. But like, I don't mind, I guess. Like, eventually, I probably will. But, so like, like preferably, like you would like, you would not like to get married. But like, yeah. if the other person does, like, you can. If the other person does, and I'm like obsessed with this person, then yeah, probably. Um, How do you feel about like somebody proposing to you then? Dude, I was thinking <laughs> about this. I was thinking about, and I was like, because I, okay, oh, also, I should, I should um, add this detail. At the wedding that I went to last weekend, my other cousin, 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 who uh, is the, the brother of the my cousin that got married, he proposed to his girlfriend. At her wedding, which, by the way, that's kind of messed up, like, he's stealing the spotlight, but whatever. Uh, he he proposed at the wedding, and he's only 23. And she's, like, 22. So I'm just like, you guys are young, first of all. But um, I was it made me think, because, like, my family from that side, from, like, my mom's side, is super, like, traditional. And, like, like, like if they weren't Mexican, they'd probably vote for Trump, bro. Like, they're super, like, like very traditional. And, um... I think they, like, because I was thinking, of, like, dude, what if girls proposed? Because it's always imposed that the guy should do it. And I was talking to my other friend about this, and I was like, dude, like, why are the guys always the one that ask the girl out, that pick up the girl, that open the door for the girl? And I'm like, I get it. It's like chivalry, you know, like, you have to be a gentleman. But, like, but like bro, like, you can't ask a guy out. Like, I'm you can't God, propose bro. to a man. When a girl holds the like, door how- for me, like. I fall in love like that instant. <laughs> like even if like if you don't know me or whatever, like <laughs> I just fall in love with you. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. No, but that's true. Cause like bro, like they I mean like no no sexism or whatever, but they get spoiled, you know? Cause like guys are always like they always feel like they have to be the gentleman. Or usually, you know, like nice guys will be like, Oh, I gotta open the door for her, I gotta get her this and get her that, do this for her. And I'm like, how does that feel? Like, I would love to be on the receiving end of that, you know? Like, bro, like, if I would, because imagine if we were born female, like, if me and you were girls. I'd like, be touching my titties. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm mean, bottling with my, my breasts. You're not wrong, but anyway. <laughs> Wait, do you think if we were girls, we would have large breasts? Um, I would, for sure. There's no doubt in my mind. I think. You would too, bro. We'd be the bustiest girl. I got it, bro. Because, bro, like we're, me and you, we're not like. I mean, I'm pretty skinny, but like we're we're kind of we're kind of meaty guys, you know. So, bro, I feel like we'd be we'd be some baddies, bro. I know. Bro, I'm bro. about to go to another universe and wife myself up. Oh my god, for real? Wait a minute, <laughs> damn, that's kind of that's kind of pog. I might have to do that. Nah, because then anyway, you don't want your kid looking, <laughs> keeping it in the family, bro. <laughs> It's not the family. It's like keeping it in the person. <laughs> uh, what were we saying? Oh, yeah. But I'm just like, bro, like, if we were girls, we would just, like, live with the fact that, like, oh, one day my boyfriend's going to propose to me. Like, like she can't be the one to decide. You know how girls are always, like, pushing the guy? Like, oh, when are you going to propose to me? Like, when are you going to pop the question? Like, bro, why, when are you going to do it? Like, well, why is it always going to be us? I feel like if a girl... Like, like, let's say hypothetically, like in another dimension, because this is never going to happen in this dimension. But like in oh, another dimension, I'm dating a girl. <laughs> Period. Oh, <bad>. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and she asked me like, yo, like, when are we going to propose? Or when are you going to propose to me? I feel like on guy, like, that would make me not want to propose because you just ruined the whole surprise you. Uh, I guess, but no, I kind of get it because like some girls will do it like jokingly, like "Hey." Nah, it's serious, bro. You can't be joking about this. <laughs> I, I guess, yeah, but um, uh, it's not even like the girl. It's like like even family will do it. Like family, like like your siblings or whatever will go up to you and be like, "When are you gonna propose to her? When are like she wants to get married? You could tell. When are you gonna propose?" And it's like, bro, if she wants to get married. She, go let her go buy an engagement ring. I know that's kind of weird because like a lot of people don't see it like that so yeah my dad told me not to get married after his relationship with my mom went down the drain and one day we were driving one day was just driving me home he's like like son 
Like, I'm just telling you right now, like, it's a marriage thing. Don't do it. <laughs> it, ain't, yep. it ain't worth it. Dude, that's another <laughs> thing, dude. I'm so scared of marriage because, or not, I'm not terrified of marriage or anything, but, like, I don't want to get married because I feel like it just ties you down and it keeps you in a position that is miserable. Like, a like lot a of slut. couples that you see that are married. Huh? Sound like a slut. Oh my god, <laughs> not like that. I just mean like a lot of like, bro. Like, let's be honest. Like, all our friends have parents that are married and they're, they are in miserable relationships. And like everyone that, well, at least everyone that I know that's married or that's been married for like ten plus years, are like sick and tired of each other. Like, they hate living with each other. They already know exact. They know every detail about one another. They know their habits. They know how they do this and that. And they just get tired and they feel like they're tied down. And then they're like, oh, we've been married for 30 years. Like, what's the point of breaking up now? Like, I just got to stick with them. And I feel like it literally, like, ties you down to, like, a, a fate that, like, your the rest of your life is going to be spent with this person in this house. And you have, like, nothing that you can do to against that. And it, that sounds miserable, dude. Like, I don't want to live you, like that. When you pop out the kids, bro. What about the kids? You pop out the kids. It's not gonna help. It's gonna help. It's like you're still stuck in a miserable relationship. Bro, I don't want kids. <laughs> I, I got. I hate kids. Like I despise children. <laughs> you don't even know. Like the only kids that I'm like whatever about are my brothers, and like even them, like on God. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, I don't mind kids, but I never want children. Or maybe not never, maybe when I'm old. But I just, it's because, bro, kids our age, they be popping kids like it's nothing. And I'm like, bro, you're ruining your life. You're like a teenager and you're having a child. Like your whole chances of having a good future are ruined because all your attention and money and efforts are going to go to this kid now. Congratulations. You played yourself. What did he say? Huh? Did he say congratulations? Yep. Sounded like you said something else. Oh. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> you know, um, it's just crazy. Like, kids. Like, people are really out here, like, 18, be having kids. Yeah, that's wild. It's like, um, do the, do the, like, dads even stick around? Sometimes. Anyways, I feel like um, we're at a dead end on this topic. Nah, I feel what? like keep going. No, you want to keep going? <laughs> Bro, like, I don't know. I just think, well, anyways, first of all, having kids is, or at our age, is terrible. But I mean, if, if you want to do it, whatever, that's up to you. I could never, because I feel like I just have too many, like, goals and things I want to do especially right now i feel like this is like our pivotal years you know like this is like the most crucial moments in our life because we're finally getting like transitioning into real adulthood where we are getting jobs and getting educated can you imagine that though what like I imagine like you had a kid right now you won't be able to like i wouldn't i wouldn't have been able to go to like chicago and like study yeah and you wouldn't do and anything. you wouldn't have been able to like even go to like barber school or whatever like trade school exactly you just have to give up everything dude that's insane dude my mom my mom had me when she was in high school and she had to drop out of high school just to take care of me and she had to pick up some jobs like three jobs just to like feed me and clothe me and keep me alive and like i can't imagine how stressful that must have been bro because you're literally responsible like you're a teenager and you're responsible you, you don't even know how to carry yourself up healthily you don't even know how to like Make sure that you stay up healthy. And now you're in charge of making sure that this kid next to you is alive and breathing and well. Like, that must be terrifying as a teenager. Let alone, like, even as, like, an adult who's, like, fully functional, having a kid is, like, a crazy experience that you'll never be ready for. But imagine being, like, 16, 17, having a child, bro. That's insane. <laughs> you know, it's... <laughs> wait never mind don't want to say oh, that <laughs> but yeah if i ever have a kid where homeboy's getting getting the the hanger 
per se. Oh my god. <laughs> I don't know, bro. Mm-hmm. Just kids. You can't. You have to change the damn yeah. diaper. I know. <laughs> I imagine. That's the one. I wish you could skip like all that nasty crap and just have like a four year old. I'm about to like genetically modify my kid. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that's what I'm away for. As soon as they release that, I'm having a kid. It's already out. Well, it already. Oh my God, wait. It already exists. Really? Yeah, it's just illegal. Oh. Because of like social yeah. issues. That makes sense. Because, like, let's say that you could, like, genetically modify a kid. First of all, only, like, rich people would be able to do it. And second of all, like, they would all, like, genetically modify their kids to look like some, like, an an Aryan, you know? Oh, damn. And, like, that would, like, make, like, this whole, like, racial thing even more evident. Where, like, certain traits are preferred over others. Yeah. Cause like if you if you genetically modify a kid, that means that the outcome of that kid is supposed to be like the best, like peak per peak like perfection, right? Mm-hmm. So like, let's say that you give the boy like like the fairest white skin and like blue eyes and like blonde hair. Like, what does that say about like the rest of the people? Mm. Yeah. But yeah, it's already possible. That's crazy. That's bro. The world is getting crazy. <sighs> I learned about it. <laughs> in my biology okay, class. I was about to say. I was like, "How do you, <laughs> you just have this in your head?" <laughs> yeah, bro. I just like you know. You know what? I just invented this technology <laughs> about a pet in that boy. <laughs> <laughs> you were just talking like it exists, but secretly you have like a <laughs> blueprint in your lab for this. <laughs> I already got the trademark and everything. <laughs> Wait, did you know that? <laughs> Bro, I, I felt offended when I heard this. So apparently they don't allow you to donate sperm if you're like under 5'6 or something. What? Exactly. I, I was offended. I was deeply hurt. That's, oh my god. That's messed up. <laughs> that actually made me tear up. Wait, is that real? That's real. You can't donate sperm if you're like under five six or something. What five six, bro? That's so mean. <laughs> and then um, you also have to be a college student. Like, I I, I don't know. If, yeah, I forgot what the require. I don't know if you had to be a, like enrolled in college or like you had to be a college graduate. But like, if you didn't like go to college or whatever, you can't donate to donate sperm. Yeah. So like, what the hell is college? <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Apparently, you inherit. <laughs> I know, right? Like... <laughs> there was like a whole bunch of like other messed up things you couldn't like, like conditions if you wanted to donate sperm. So like, what? yeah, that'd be you. It'd really be like that. <laughs> oh my god, that's great, bro! Like, the world's messed up. But I wouldn't do that anyway, probably. But you make hell. I, I wanted to do it at one point. Really? Yeah, I was like, you know what? Like, I'm never gonna have kids anyways. No. Oh. <laughs> Someone else can raise them for me. <laughs> Damn. And they pay like a decent amount of money. I don't, know, I don't know if it was like two k or whatever. Wait, can you? Are we talking donate sperm or like? No, like completely take your whole. No, life? like donate sperm. Oh yeah, and I also wanted to do it in my testicle, but that was that was, you know. Uh, I don't think they're. Oh, I don't think wait, they're healthy. So how much do they pay? How much? Oh damn! <laughs> you know, I'd be getting these like random testicle pains. Like <laughs> what? The- <laughs> I think that's pretty normal. Now. Is it? Because uh, I've never gotten them. Like I started getting them like uh, like a year ago, <laughs> and like it's just been like reoccurring. What the hell? Like. Wait, how much did they pay for the testicle? I mean, for the sperm donation then? I think it was like 2K. It was like... 2K each time? Probably. I don't know. Oh, bro, I'm I'm going to college then. <laughs> Where I gotta go. That's it. That's insane. You can make 2K? 
It's probably like 1600 to 2 k I don't know. It was, it was something like crazy though. Bro, I don't care how much it is. Money is money. That doesn't sound like it's that hard to do anyway. Wait, let me check. Let me disrupt the whole flow of the podcast just to check. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. And then, wait, how much is it for like the actual testicle? Why are we talking about this? Because <laughs> we're about to chase the bag. We're, we're about to come here yeah. next week with like brand new setups. The whole <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we got like clean mics, and you're like, so guys, we we are now women. <laughs> we have no testicles. <laughs> um, Jesus, how much does it cost to cost. donate? To mean cost, bro. We're not paying for it. Oh yeah, my bad. Okay, my bad. I I exaggerated a bit. Oh no! <laughs> it, was, it was seven hundred to one thousand dollars. That's still pretty good. Yeah. No cap. How much is it for the testicle? Oh, uh, you really seem adamant about this testicle. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just curious, man. I mean, hey, I got two of them. Might as well let one go. I'm pretty sure it was a lot, though. Got if four. it's not like at least like ten k. Donating your your test. Cool. Oh my god. Thirty-five thousand. Oh <laughs> to fifty thousand. Oh fifty oh my god, fifty racks. Bro, why did he just come right now? <laughs> hey man, that's gonna be the last time I gotta do it, bro. We gotta we gotta sell them right now. God. 50k well to be fair 50k like to some people is like that's like baby talk yeah it's that's crazy crazy oh my god well i mean dude how how hard could it be to donate sperm can i donate sperm because i'm down if i'm getting 700 to a k like, what know. do you do you just nut in a cup pretty much yeah that's light work <laughs> i want my 700 pretty sure would he be able to donate because of like you're dropping out? Hey, brother, I gotta know that. I'm, <laughs> I'm still enrolled right now. <laughs> this man's gonna take his one quarter transcript. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> like, really, what's no, bro, they're gonna see that F. <laughs> they're gonna be like, yeah, you're bro. Yeah, there's no F. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, you're D. Damn. Only D they gonna be seeing is when I'm nutting in that cut, bro. Relax, let me get that. Can you nut on demand? On command? My bad. <laughs> on demand? <laughs> Cut it. Uh, no. What the hell? You can't. So you're telling me like you can just be like a, a like just nut and you just nut. Bro, like the wind just be like touching me and I I be feeling what so sorry. What the hell? <laughs> what the? Nah, bro, that's not that's not right. No, you can't not command, bro. Why are we talking about this? It's November. Bruh, you get out of here. This is how I know you <laughs> didn't see my solo episode. This I didn't. Like, <laughs> and this is how I know you're a fake fan, bro. <laughs> <laughs> this is how I know you don't support your own podcast. Hey, bro, I watched like the first 20 minutes. <laughs> Pretty much. Nothing is going to stop me from nutting. I already failed. I'm just going to be honest. Like... <laughs> god damn like nothing is gonna stop me <laughs> have you read my instagram bio i'm in a polyamorous relationship with both my hands oh, yeah, yeah, so yeah. <laughs> i am loyal to this relationship bro. i'm not gonna get nothing get in the way of this relationship <laughs> <laughs> for real but bro like imagine every time you know it's just 700 bucks right there bro you're oh, literally god. laying golden eggs <laughs> Dude, like, I'm actually gonna research this. Like, what? Why haven't? Dude, what do they do with it? What do they do with the nut? They give it to people who like, like, let's say there's a couple, like the guy just can't. Wait, so you're telling me that I'm gonna have, I'm gonna be a father and not even know it? Yeah. Oh wait, I don't know about that. That's kind of weird. What's, what? Did, what did he think they did with it? Well, I mean, I, just, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> 
<laughs> what did you think, bro? No <laughs> bro, that's weird. Imagine you're a oh, dad and like you don't even know. No, I'm like, serious. Like, kid. what did you think was, was gonna happen with your? Well, no, I mean, I Do you think they were just gonna drink it, bro? Like, <laughs> what, what did you think? <laughs> yeah, you never know. No, make I mean, some I fine like, cuisine like research. No. <laughs> Damn. No, I don't. I don't know if I could do that then. Oh yeah, that and then like scary. they actually make more money out of your sperm. Because then the other people have to, like, the people who are going to be, like, the couple who's going to be buying your sperm, they actually have to pay, like, hella money for the sperm. So I have to be, like, advertised? That they're going to be like, oh, yeah, this is a light skin. He's 5'11". Yeah, yeah, they're going to, they they, <laughs> they have your stats. like. Oh, my God. <laughs> so that's why you... going to be allergic to latex, too. You go up, and they're going to be like, yo, like, like, what character model are you looking for? Like, we got a blondes, we got gingers. I'm like... <gasps> what the hell? like they that's just crazy. they get to pick bro, <laughs> bro they're really in the like, character select like screen bear for a baby. <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's <laughs> wild i've never even realized that like nut banks are just like you literally just like create your character You're just creating a me so like oh if you God. like if you actually wanted to have like a light-skinned baby like you could <laughs> holy crap that's insane oh my that's so weird like i never knew how like, easily like you could just design your baby literally build a bear style yeah this is like one that's step insane. like this is one step below from like genetically creating your own baby yeah that's <laughs> what i'm saying like because you're pretty much just like looking at a male and like being like yeah i want all of those traits in my baby and you just put it in the girls and it's over damn insane i'm still kind of down though 700 i'm saying bro, seven, <laughs> i don't know <laughs> wild i might have to look into that because i'd be a little broke these days 700 but that's like two of my paychecks god damn for one that? nut you could bro that's two paychecks for one nut I'm, <laughs> oh my god <laughs> bro i'm like actually thinking about this i'm Holy assuming god. your mom is not home right now yeah, because <laughs> I know Devil, you wouldn't be talking this while yeah. she was home. It's reckless. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, she's not home. <laughs> Thank God. Um, but anyway, speaking about nuts, <laughs> another topic that we're gonna get into right after marriage is the 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 nasties, the unholy, the the unsacred act of intercourse i know i said what? it i know intercourse yep <laughs> i'm pretty sure bro i wish like i knew this was coming up why i don't know i wanted to make like <laughs> i wanted to say like a nastier way like a, nas- a nastier word than intercourse oh what's your do you have a nasty word? no nah, i i don't know <laughs> i can't come up with one anymore yeah, I mean, I was trying to think of something too, but I was like, "What can I say besides like, sex?" <laughs> mating. That's not nasty. That's that's more natural if anything. Reproducing. Nah, I feel like you can just say like. Exchanging um, gametes. Okay, well, that, there's nothing sexy about that. Really. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm not trying to be sexy. I'm Imagine trying to be grotesque. <laughs> You pull up to a girl like, girl, let me exchange your gametes. <laughs> like, nah. Bro, let's make this haploid into a diploid. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's kind of <laughs> fire. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> anyway, topic of discussion is when slash how maybe. No, when is probably the better. When is the to- the best? I guess not best, but like when when in the relationship should you have sex? Or should you? You know? Do you want to go first? Sure. I will go first. I say whenever it feels right. That's the that's the typical answer, like the basic answer. To go into it, I think... Well, first of all, I think that um, guys are nasty. And guys are, like, ready all the time. <laughs> so, like, you, you, should not, you shouldn't rely on the guy. Bruh. Like, you know how, like, I said that? <laughs> We're going to put, like, condoms. <laughs> Wait, I can't be talking this loud. <laughs> you know how I said we're gonna play condoms. Wait, can you still hear me? Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. 
You know how I said they were going to put condoms, like, in the restrooms? Mm-hmm. So they put, like, a whole pack in there, like, right? Tell me why it's there one day, like, the next day. That boy's gone, like, the whole pack. Damn. <laughs> Damn. And they haven't refilled yeah, ever since. Like <laughs> they be getting gone. No, like, but, like the whole yeah. thing was gone. Like, I don't know what happened. Damn. Like, I was just staring at them, like, every day. I was like, you know, I'm going to use you one of these days. <laughs> and, like, one of the, like, one day I just went and, like, it was gone. And I was like, what? <laughs> Damn. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Oh, yeah, I think just guys in, are just nasty, so it's like more on the girl, usually. I mean, obviously, there's like other cases where it's not, but um, I think like, well, objectively speaking, like you both just have to like agree or both at least consent, but like you both want to do it, you know, because a lot of times guys will like rush it, and like I'm just speaking like from experience of what my friends tell me. Oh, I thought you were like, talking always... about you. I was like, damn, they didn't know you were the no, 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 no. caveman. <laughs> I'm still rocking the the V card out here, but um, like a lot of my friends that I know that are older, um, they'll be like, oh, you know, like he wanted to do it, so I I just went with it, and I'm just like, bro, like if you don't want to do it, just say something, you know. So I think a a lot of times like the guy really wants to do it, and the girl is like whatever about it, so she just does it, you know, and that's why I feel like a lot of times they rush into having sex, so that like. Like, they'll be, like, two months into a relationship, three months, one month, and they'll have sex. And then they'll be, like, a year into it, and they hate each other because they're, like, what now? Because, like, all they ever had was the sex. And, like, they didn't even give in a, give each other enough time to like each other for, like, their personality and, like, real things that they just, like, fell into lust. And now that the sex is boring them, they're, like, damn, I'm kind of sick of this person. So, for me, I would, I would like, um, advocate for... Um, <laughs> stalling a bit like waiting and right just to, hearing like, you say lust partner. sorry to interrupt but <laughs> but you saying lust and like you saying like give into the lust right it's oh, taking man, me what, say. <laughs> what am i gonna say <laughs> uh, the freaking school project yes <laughs> it's yeah. taking me back right <laughs> was it great gatsby yeah it was the great gatsby yeah because <laughs> i remember like yeah. at the end of the presentation we had to like actually present <laughs> Yeah. I, like I remember you pulled this out of your ass and I was like, what is this man talking about? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait, was he? Yeah. yeah, I remember ever uh, I remember. Um <laughs> You can watch the video. We can watch it on stream actually. Oh damn, yeah. <laughs> oh, are you down? But yeah. No, not today. <laughs> but I mean I'm down for some other day, yeah. Yeah, basically what me and Jordi are talking about is we used to do these class presentations where we made like little skits. Well, they weren't little. It was like 30 minutes. And uh, we just like did like a, we would write a script and we'd perform and we would just talk about the book that we were reading in class. And uh, one of them was The Great Gatsby and they were like lusting over each other. So that's why we got PTSD real quick. <laughs> Bro, low key though. Like, first of all, I'm very thankful about this whole like, the whole like 30 minute like i know we were hating on iv so much for making us do these long as presentations but like also this podcast just doing this podcast and doing that one solo podcast <laughs> <laughs> like it just made me used to like just talking for like a, a long time i guess like a prolonged period of time because we had this we had um this video so we had to make an actual video for biology mm-hmm. and it was like supposed to be like a five minute video like i made it like a 10 minute video of me just talking and, like they actually docked mm-hmm. points because i talked too much they're like yo this is too long <laughs> <laughs> and like for our final for our bio final we have to give a presentation right and it's just like a five minute mm-hmm. presentation that's our bio final like just a five minute presentation yeah and it's like wow like who would have would have thought <laughs> it would be this easy <laughs> damn that's crazy Did, is it scripted too yeah, he said, like, he said as long as it's, like, you can even, like, play a video during class, like, as long as it's you, you talking for, like, five minutes. Oh, dude, that's the dream scene so, like, all over <laughs> So, you, like, you don't even have to, like, actually talk. You just, you can just have it, like, pre-recorded and, like, play it during class. That's sick, yeah. So, you got experience. Mm-hmm. 
I want to talk about school like after this. Like I have a bold claim. Okay, 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 okay. We'll talk about that after. But yeah, uh so yeah, what I was saying, um sex, you should wait a little bit just so that you can get to know the partner for who they are. And then you could get nasty and then add on to the happiness you guys feel. Your take, Jordy? My take? Yep. Um no one's gonna have sex with me because I'm literally uh <laughs> oh my unfortunate looking human being like this is a reason why i've been like a shut-in like for this long bro like nobody wants to see me like i'm doing a world a service just by staying locked up in my room not even bro <laughs> <laughs> but yeah like yeah it's totally like because you like you said like guys are like always horny i'm not gonna lie <laughs> thanks so like it's just honestly whenever she's ready That's it. Um, <laughs> Nothing too prophetic. Yeah. But at the same time, like I feel like a lot of people, like like me, overthink it. Think, like, and like the whole like marriage thing too. Okay, like, wait, some hold people up. will be waiting till marriage. Yeah, it's like wild. So I don't know. It's it's kind of like a balance of not overthinking it, but also not rushing it. I'd rather I'd rather overthink it than rush it though, because I don't want to like be a dirty male and make the girl feel like she's being used because i feel like that's what happens a lot like guys will just rush it and the girl's like oh i know what this is and yeah so i'd rather just you know play it safe but you know at the same time i'm, I'm not judging anyone you can do what you want oh god wait no you can't do what you want bro you both have to be ready <laughs> Otherwise, you're, yeah, you're gonna yeah, catch yeah, a case, yeah, bro. Yeah, like, <laughs> Wait, hold on. Not, not that much. Not that much freedom. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> hey, bro. Just making sure we don't get canceled on the eighth facts. episode. Facts, facts. Anyway, um, you want to talk about school? School? Oh, yeah. okay. I have a bold statement. And, like, nobody else is gonna get this because this is just, like, pertains okay. to us. Okay. So we've talked about this individual in the first episode of the podcast. I remember we named called Damn. this individual. Oh God, that was a while ago. I feel like you're gonna, you might. I feel like you've changed up a bit, so you might agree with me. But like, okay. you and this person, you have a lot of beef. Oh really, <laughs> Mister Stoiter? Oh, <laughs> where I think. <laughs> I think Mr. Stoiter was right all along. About what? About just, like, the way he taught. That 4,000-word oh. essay. I feel like... Because, uh-huh. you know, like, the... the um, To what extent? Like, how you worded, like, your... What, what was the question called? Like, your topic question. Oh. That's that's what it was called. Uh, <laughs> so you know how you like <laughs> where did your topic question how like to what extent blank 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 or whatever like this this and okay, that. Yeah. So like we got our prompts for our essays, and like I was reading the prompts, and tell me why like Comboy wrote the the prompt that was like to what extent does this part of music affect like whatever. I was like yo like Mr. Stoiter was on to something. Because <laughs> yeah. now I'm gonna go back to my four thousand word essay, and I'm gonna like look at the way I answered that question and answer the prompt. Yep, you were right about making a bold statement. <laughs> Why do you disagree? Do you think Soider? Do you think Soider was? I feel like Soider was a martyr. Like y'all hated on that man too much. Can I say you that? Hated on him too. I, I hated on too. We had Stoiter and I, we had a, a very deep connection. Oh my god. <laughs> hey, on that. Okay, well, to be fair. Bro, we, this man, Stoiter and I, we peed in the, like, I was about to say the same oh, urinal, but like dude. the urinal <laughs> right next to each other. Cross paths. <laughs> <laughs> we both nice. gave each other golden showers. That's, bro, okay, I can't lie. He's a teacher, so, you know, he's doing his job. Cool. He's doing all right, but as a person, this man was terrible. Okay, that's undeniable. 
first of all, don't pee in the public bathroom. You got a teacher bathroom. Yeah, that's kind that's of weird, Chan. This man had like <laughs> access to a whole like private teacher bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> And like he and would go, he would purposefully go to the student restrooms and like pee right next to the, <laughs> right next to them. Exactly. And, um, bro, he was just petty. I mean, Stoiter, I feel like Mr. Stoiter was a, he's like a, a representation of all the petty teachers out there, but like in one person. Cause any little thing, he would just like make it such a petty or problem than it had to be. And it's like, bro, you don't get paid enough to be like arguing with me about these little stuff that don't even matter. Like, bro, just make, just do your job. Like, who cares? Other teachers don't give a damn because they know they're not getting paid. Therefore, just, just stop. You know, bro. So, I, I mean, never gave Slater back his book. <laughs> that man still. Really? That man still out here, missing his, his Lewis and Clark, <laughs> book. <laughs> Good. It was a really <sighs> good book too. I think it was like sixty dollars too. Man, never spent lost sixty dollars. <laughs> you know what I did realize though about like that class though was that that he was right all 4, along. Four thousand. No, he was like, <laughs> in fact, the point I'm gonna make is that he was wrong all along. <laughs> that four thousand words is not that much. Um, That's cap, bro. In my thing my english class we're writing like two thousand word essays every week how do you do that our finals well i don't know it kind of and it's weird because i'm like not struggling like i feel like the topics that we like our prompts are just really good or like for me at least are like really inspiring and i'll just like write but i feel like that was just always your forte like bsing (laughs) that's true because like like, i feel like you always just went over the word limit Oh yeah, that's true. Even on like standard essay, <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. Like I just like, especially with this one, I feel like I've been trying to be more concise that I'm doing right now for my English class. And I like look at the, I look down at the word count, and I'm already over it. And I'm like, dude, like I feel like I just started. Like I could, I and I literally because we were, today we had a draft due, and I was like stressing because I barely started it this morning. It was due today, and uh, I was just like, my plan was to actually BS it. So then I was going to be like, okay, let me just turn in two paragraphs instead of four. Mm-hmm. So then I did two paragraphs, and the two paragraphs alone got me over the word count. And I still have two other paragraphs I want to write. And that's not even including the intro and the outro and the conclusion. So I'm just like, dude, like, two, I mean, 4K is not that much. Because, like, I've already written, like, 16K probably throughout the semester with all the essays. So I'm just like... So what I'm hearing is that you can write my essays for me. Hey, bro, relax. <laughs> <laughs> I can technically if you wanna if you wanna get like some third grade vocabulary because that's what <laughs> I'd be reading when I'm editing. I'm like, bro, why do I talk like this? I mean, you edit your papers as like more than more than I do. Damn, I've never edited a paper in my <laughs> life. Like. In like on my own volition, like the only time I edited yeah. was like when the teacher like assigned like a, like an editing day. Yeah. <laughs> like I've never like edited like on my own time because I wanted to. Like I just did. Oh, facts. <laughs> yeah. I just finished the paper and that's what you got. Oh yeah, dude. If if the teachers didn't assign editing time, like they would be getting my paper full of typos, like no grammar, like <laughs> it'd be over. <laughs> But that's what I want to talk about. Thought we were going to get more argumentative. That's even a word. But apparently not. Yeah. Um, nah. I mean, I, 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 I did backlash a little bit. <laughs> um, you know what you're going to backlash on? What? You said something before this podcast started that deeply offended me. Oh. What the hell did I say? You said that Domino's was trash, and I'm I, I was I'm not gonna let that slide, bro. You thought that you thought that conversation was over, but now, nah, bro, uh, <laughs> you can't hide behind the the chat. You can't hide behind the chat anymore. You have to <laughs> come forth. <laughs> Listen, okay, look, let me be honest. Domino's used to be my bay, and you know that because every time you come to my house, it was Domino's every day. It was but, every day, bro. <laughs> but, <laughs> but 
I don't know. I just had a realization. I mean, I haven't even found anything better, to be honest, but I just don't like Domino's anymore. Well, I still, I'll still eat it. Don't get me wrong. But every time I order Domino's, it's super greasy. It's drenched. It feels like I'm like swimming when I'm trying to eat, bro. Like it's like just oil <laughs> and not oil. Freaking. Yeah, cooking oil. It's just like oh, greasy. Bro, I'm trying to get my bloodstream full of oil. <laughs> like I'm trying my, the, cyto, <laughs> the cytoplasm in my cells are going to be oil. <laughs> that's what, oh, that's yeah. what I want. <laughs> bro i just don't cause bro i'm trying to eat a good pizza you know like i prefer like even the freaking like peanut pepper pizza because like at least it's like actual food like it's a consumable when i'm freaking eating Domino's, it feels like i'm drowning and like i'm trying to drink that thing bro. Well, that's because no you ordered it with bacon stop ordering it with bacon that's true but i love bacon <laughs> <laughs> it's so weird it's like, you have like the weirdest taste not <laughs> i'm not hating on the bacon because i also like bacon but like you just have weird taste. Yeah, I know, I do. <laughs> like, didn't you get your subway plane? Oh, bruh. Oh, yeah. That was... Don't expose me. <laughs> <laughs> no, because I'm, exp- I'm about to make the hot block, the block hot for both of us. Because <laughs> <laughs> it was my fault that day for being broke. <laughs> that you had to share your damn subway with me. <laughs> Wait, what was this? What were we doing that day? It was like, I think it was the day of a band concert. Probably. and like we want to go get oh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. want to go get food afterwards like after school oh, yeah. and like i like i wanted burger king or whatever and like i was like yo like this this wallet kind of empty like <laughs> like i don't think i'll be able to eat <laughs> oh yeah i remember and then you're like you I, like i'm gonna go get sub but like you can we can share like my sub and i was like okay like bet 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 <laughs> tell me why this man just gets the bread <laughs> and the dab <laughs> <laughs> baloney no 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 no, no. listen <laughs> that's just that's bread, all you bologna. got no 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 and, uh, and bacon too you gotta add the bacon <laughs> bro that's so dry like <laughs> oh my I god know. it's just because dude i just don't like anything like i've tried i, I don't like any vegetables that are, are you so still weird. alive <laughs> i don't know i honestly have no clue like you actually like, you eat live you, off hot <laughs> you eat so unhealthy but like you're just giddy as hell <laughs> i know i don't get it either it's so weird like i've and never no. seen you once eat a vegetable like i'm not even like being <laughs> hyperbolic no potatoes I'm, are vegetables come on but they're like the bad vegetables like you're practically eating about- chips what about corn? Um, yeah, it's pretty bad too. Oh god. Uh, <laughs> I eat beans. Beans are Okay, beans, beans, beans are good. But they're probably really? fried. No. They are fried. <laughs> are they? I know Devil, you're not eating no boiled beans. <laughs> oh yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> they are fried. But um uh, yeah, I, I'm like super picky. I don't know why I've tried I think it's just like mentally. Like, I just built a mental barrier that prevents me from trying new things and liking it. Because I'll, like, I'll try something new and, like, I'll just, I'll just like, be primed to think that I'm not going to like it. So then when I actually do taste it, even if I originally would have liked it, I'll just be like, Ugh, and just throw up right there. Bruh. You don't, the thing that irks me the most is that you oh don't like chicken wings. Like I never, like... <laughs> Like, if yeah. it was anybody else, that would have been, like, we can't be friends anymore. Like, you're lucky that we, oh. we were... Because I found this out, like, like deep in, <laughs> in our friendship. Like, yeah, you that was like, a deal breaker? Yeah, you. bro. <laughs> no, on God, bro. She can be, like, a perfect 10 out of 10. Like, hourglass figure, like, big thighs, whatever. Like, nice feet. <laughs> nice feet? What the... F- you don't care about feet? No. You are different, my friend. Well, I mean, if they got, like, ugly, like, seven toes on one That's finger, also a one big foot. deal breaker for me. If she got ugly feet, like, What the you... hell? <laughs> I, mean, I don't even think girls can have ugly feet. You'd be surprised. It's because you haven't observed. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like, I but see. anyway, bro. Anyways. When I, like, she could be, like, a perfect ten. If she don't like chicken wings, like, get out of here. Like, I eat chicken wings all the time that's good though that's good because that means that means you when you guys go to like a wing stop or something you get to eat all of it instead of having to share you feel me first of all this is a very cold take wing stop 
It's garbage. Oh, I mean, I just mentioned the first wing place I know. <laughs> the the closest wing spot to me, hold up, is wing. St- oh my god, I keep burping. It's like they don't. It's like they want me. They don't want me to talk. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, being silence, I'm being silent. I'm being silent. The the closest wing spot to me is wing stop. It's like at half an hour walk or whatever. Mm. And Domino's is like way further. It's like another like twenty minute walk or whatever. Why don't you just order it to your dorm? I'm broke. <laughs> I don't is want it that much more. Well, I'm just very stingy. That's another reason why you can't do it. I'm the stingiest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> Wait, but don't you don't you take the scooter over there? I stopped taking the scooter because it's money too. Yeah, because <laughs> it's like Dang. fourteen dollars, like a round trip. Yeah. That's like that's as much as the food. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I just walk. Like it's not like, and I need to walk anyways. Like I need to work on my cardio because I, I be mm-hmm. whatever. Anyways, I decided to go to Domino's, an extra 20, an additional 20 minute walk, because I hate wings stop that much. Cause how can you be like a place that only focuses on wings and be trash? Like, figure it out. That's make true. it make sense, right? <laughs> Domino's is way better. Superior. Yeah, see, I've been opting to Pizza Hut these days. But I you never explain why you never like the wings, bro. Like, Oh, I don't know. It's weird because I love chicken. I, I feel like you'd chicken. like plain wings. Like, am I wrong? Yeah, <laughs> I think I would. I. But I don't know. The thing is, okay, well, number one, the biggest thing is I don't like spicy things. And most of the time, wings are spicy. So that's number one. Number two, I hate chicken with bones. So that's probably another thing. Because I feel like there's a bunch how? of bones. You're so I don't know. weird. I, <laughs> I just need, bro, if it's not chicken nuggets, I'm not eating it. That's all I'm gonna say. Are you telling me that if it was like the end of the world, there was no food left, and like you found no, like no, a no, dead no. human would, body? Yeah. Oh, what the hell? <laughs> you would not eat it just because it had bones. Yeah. Well, first of all, I wouldn't <laughs> eat it. anyway, that's kind of gross. <laughs> you would die otherwise. Probably, yeah, I'd rather starve. Honestly. Uh, <laughs> I guess you're gonna be eaten. Oh damn! I'm skinny, bro. You ain't gonna get nothing off of me. You'd be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, Domino's is it. Hold up! Did I say something wrong? I don't know. I don't know. Why am I being booed in the chat? And by the chat, I just mean one person in the chat. <laughs> Probably because you said you eat a person. <laughs> oh, well, cannibalism. <laughs> Are you telling me you wouldn't need another person? Wait, is this TOS? Okay, let's say... <laughs> Hold on, this might get us, like, actually bad. So. <laughs> yeah. right, let's say it's the end of the world, right? Let's say, like, like the apocalypse hit. Like, no not, no zombies type people. Like, just, like, like people are dying. Like, you're, like, the last person. Sounds uh, like COVID to me. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you, you eating people? You're telling me you're actually eating people. There's no food on the Okay, t- Turnic out here with a very, very cold take. He said Domino's over... Papa John's. Who the hell eats Papa John's? Exactly. Like, that's just a given. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've never heard anyone be like, hey, you want Papa John's? <laughs> God. Bro, oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, you eating people? Is that what you're telling me? I- I'm not saying I'm eating. Well, if it was like no other choice, like, come on now. Bro, I'd rather eat people before I eat Papa John's, though. <laughs> no cap. <laughs> <laughs> Who the hell eats Papa John's? Bro, that's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> They're really out here. <laughs> people actually out uh, here like Papa John. That's. <laughs> bro, why are we clowning so hard on Papa John's? <laughs> this poor man, bro. Uh, Do you like Pizza Patron? Like, I, I went all, like, Mexican on you, but... I've never had it actually. I feel like it's just Papa John's, but with the Mexican disguise. Little yeah. <laughs> little spice. They have like chorizo yeah. <laughs> pizzas oh, out there. Look at the chat. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Hey, bro. He's <laughs> see. This is why I wanted I wanted him as a guest. He's he's a very yeah. line like minded individual. You know. <laughs> Hell yeah. Um. All right, pizza. Where are the other pizza places? Apparently, we're talking about pizza places. How did how did we get here? Yeah, let's just forget about the cannibalism before one of us gets locked up. Um. <laughs> <laughs> one of us is you bro i don't know i who who's who said anything about that <laughs> um, little caesars i absolutely oh, love fire. little caesars fire bro i love the price <laughs> the <song>. price bro <laughs> bro five dollars that goes so far bro <laughs> dude yeah. at domino's you gotta pay like what like 18 bucks for a single pizza with 18 bucks you could get three and a half pizzas at goddamn domino's you could get three pizzas and like a side of breadsticks that's wild for a little caesars is that gas like bro don't even get me stuck, bro. And like the thing is, like, I'm of like I come from a very like broke family, right? And like, tell me why my family hated Little Caesars. Like, y'all don't have no room what? to complain. Like, yeah, we broke. <laughs> <laughs> like, like we broke. <laughs> what? Oh my god, that's crazy, dude, bro. It's because bro, even at Little Caesars, they offered the six dollar pizza. And for one dollar extra, that thing was so good. What was it called? The the extra most bestest pepperoni pizza, something like that. Yeah. I've, oh my god, bro! I've one never... dollar difference. Right. No, you you've had it. I swear. Every time you came to my house. Oh, for real? Yeah. Every time. Well, every time I got a little Caesars, it was that one. Oh. Because I never got the original. The original one's low key whack. Not gonna lie. The original, it's 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 all right. You know, it's not the it's not the best or anything. Yeah, it's but good that for six dollar one. Good. The six dollar one is so good. It's so much better. Honestly, that's my favorite pizza ever. Man, really trying to. And it's so cheap. <laughs> you got Little Caesars. Give me that sponsorship. Sponsorship. <laughs> Give me the sponsorship. Come on now, y'all hear this? <laughs> <laughs> Bruh. Damn. Yeah, you know, Little Caesar was that gas when, like, whenever somebody had like a a birthday party in class. Bruh, yeah. tell me, or like even when, whenever like they had a pizza party in general. Tell me why yeah. they would get little seats. I know it's because they're broke. It like. was always little seats <laughs> or like the the broke Costco, not the actual Costco, but like it was like it was a Sam's Club or somewhere else that like they would get you like the fattest pizza slices. I was like, God damn. We're Mister Eating out here. Yeah, that's what I mean. Like, where the hell did he get them? Because it was like some weird place. But yeah, like I've never been to like no damn pizza party and they had like anything other than Little Caesars. Yeah, you're not seeing you're not seeing Pizza Hut stacks. Come on. Now. Like you're not seeing Domino stacks. Little Caesars is for the people by the people and I Fact. <laughs> it's But Little Caesars was there for me when no one else was, bro. It was right there. Five dollars. I could have afforded it when I was like seven. Oh my god. I miss Little Caesars. You know what? I'm about to go get some. You could. I don't have a Little Caesars near here. <gasps> Serious? Yeah, I think the closest one, like, of pizza chains would be Domino's. Damn. Yeah, that's still not bad. Yeah, because I love Domino's. It's like, okay, I'm about to, like, expose myself. Does Domino's pizza make you gassy? Gassy? Yeah. Uh, no. No? I, I mean, I don't think so. Because every time I would get Domino's, like, the very next day, Homeboy would have Choro. Like, <laughs> like Gear Jesus Boy. Bro, I, like, I made the fatal mistake of having Domino's before, like, one day before school. Mm. Bro, that I had the bubble guts that day, like. No, hell no. Like, oh my god. Yeah, I... Like, Domino's is good, but, like, I just get the bubble guts every time I eat it. Damn, I didn't know that. No, I don't get anything like that, to be honest. Hey, bro, now that we're talking about food, though, can we just, can we just roast Burger King one time? Hey. Garbage Burger King is. <laughs> Bruh. <laughs> okay, 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 okay. So, <laughs> this is, I'm glad you said this, because, okay, so Turnic and I, we come, like, from a streamer, and they're always, like, that, that same community, they're always, like, talking trash about Burger King. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> so it's crazy that you brought it up. Because you actually don't even, <laughs> like, 
you're not even part of this yeah. community. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's because I just had Burger King right now. That's what I was eating before this podcast. And it was just like Burger I decided to give it a chance, you know, because I used to bag on Burger King all the time. And I was like, you know what? Let's give it a second chance. I ordered some today for the first time in like a year. It was still as garbage as ever, bro. Oh, God. I can't. Okay, I feel like I was blinded at one point because Burger King was yeah, like. Yeah, you used to love Burger yeah, King. Yeah, it used to be all about don't, it. Bro, okay, I don't, remember that. Don't gas it up, bro. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't be out here exposing me like that. My like, no, credibility. You were the number one fan. <laughs> I, I was. You were the Burger King. Bro. I was the Burger King. Bro, I was, <laughs> I was out there. I was out there getting the Xbox, like, one. Like, you know how they have, like, the promotion, like, Oh yeah, <laughs> like buy a burger, like buy a Whopper, and you get like yeah. a Xbox One or whatever. <laughs> Bro, I was out oh. there trying to like <laughs> collect my Xbox One. <laughs> I don't know how you didn't get it, but that's how you know it's a scam because you'd be getting it all the time. <laughs> no, don't don't say that. I used to be getting it all the time. Yeah, you used to. Bro, you, it was so crazy. You were like a huge. Fan. I was actually like, like every. <laughs> Bro, if you didn't see me, it like. During a band day with without like my Fruit Loop shake, oh my the Fruit yeah, yeah, Loop yeah. shake. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, dude! Every single concert that we had, we would just go to Burger King. I was so sick of it. That's why I went to Subway, man. Bro, okay, so the the day I like when I first got Burger King, like the first time, like I can remember, like. I got um a what do you call it like an original chicken sandwich. They had this promo. I still remember this to this day. It was an amazing deal. It was mm-hmm. two original chicken sandwiches for five dollars. Mm-hmm. I was like, "Yo, that sounds good." Like low key. So I went there. I think it was like, <laughs> I think it was like the my freshman year. That's when I became addicted to Burger King. This is when. Yeah. <laughs> when they put me under their spell like their hype yeah. <laughs> hypnosis I went to like the first district late start to get breakfast and I mm-hmm. bought my chicken sa- bro tell me why that that chicken sandwich was the best thing I've ever had oh, yeah, okay hold up then like I think it was like I want to say even like the, the month before I left I went to buy a chicken sandwich and it was garbage. Like, I was like, like, I, I spat that. I was like, I was about to give it to a homeless guy. I was like, yo, like, do you want this chicken sandwich? Because I bought two. Because it was, they, they still had that. Like, after four oh years, they still God. had that two for five deal, bro. <laughs> <laughs> like, crazy how, like, the, the discounts didn't change for, like, <laughs> the men, like, it just got trashed, like, the ingredients. Damn. But yeah, like your tongues at the wall, bro. <laughs> I was like, yo, like this garbage, this sandwich is garbage. You want this, bro? Like, take it. No, actually, I think I threw it away. I think I threw it away. I was like, I cannot be giving no. this. I cannot be giving a homeless yeah, person burger key. Like, homeless <laughs> man takes a bite out of that. He's like, man, <laughs> take your ass back to the. <laughs> you can take this crap back, bro. No, okay. Funny story. Like, I remember one day I was like waiting at a bus stop, mm. and like there was a homeless person just like roaming around, like they do in Phoenix. You know, wild homeless guy appeared. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and like this nice pedestrian, a white fellow, he buys him like Burger King. The homeless guy like takes a bite out of the Whopper and he legit like throws it at the ground. And, like all oh, the pigeons God. come flocking around and <laughs> eating the damn Whopper. <laughs> Bruh, yeah, Burger King yeah. is straight up bird food, it's pigeon food. <laughs> <laughs> I found its purpose. Bro, that Burger King was so ghetto, too. Like, there was just homeless people everywhere. Oh, my God. And then he took it's a there. drink out of the soda. And that man mm-hmm. built the soda all over the floor. Damn, bro. And man. Like, this I know is... there's nothing wrong with that soda. There's no. He was just being dramatic, bro. That homeless man just had to make a, a statement. Nah, bro. The, fount- the fountain sodas be... The fountain drinks... The fountain drinks be different, like, oh, yeah, wherever you go. Bro. Hey, um, especially that Burger King. Burger King is trash. And if you're out here supporting Burger King, I quite frankly don't want you in this community. 
Dude, what if Burger King was going to give us a sponsorship? And they heard this and they're like, damn. They have all the Burger King, like, scholars. What the hell? Like, they pay for your college. You're like, Burger King is, like, the worst of the worst. Like, I, I'll take McDonald's any day over Burger King. That's, that's just an, a given. <laughs> it's like Domino's over pizza, <laughs> Papa John's. What the heck? <laughs> it's been out here again with the cold takes. <laughs> well, it's just to be fair, I don't really like McDonald's. You don't? But. Right. Only the chicken nuggets. I and remember, the breakfast. I remember, oh my god. Like, Loki stopped messing with the breakfast. Oh, I think you were there that day. The, the day I stopped messing with you were there. It was during, it was like when we were training for the fight. Yeah. For the boxing match. Oh. <laughs> it sounds so weird out of context. We were training for the boxing match. <laughs> yeah. And we would, for some reason, before we worked out, we would go eat. That you don't do that. <laughs> you actually work out and then you go eat. Oh damn! <laughs> but anyways, we would eat breakfast before we would like train for the fight, <laughs> and like we would get McDonald's breakfast like all the time. Like I remember, yeah, I got like a, a goddamn McGriddle, not a McGriddle, a McMuffin, <laughs> a sausage jack McMuffin. Yeah. It was and, like routine. It was no question. Like we would get <laughs> McDonald's every time. And I remember one day, one faded day, we were just hiking up like ninety degree weather up this hill. Was it a hill? It wasn't a hill. It was a mountain. It was a damn mountain. <laughs> <laughs> this was a hill like we weren't doing a big ass trail. Bro. <laughs> and like I just, I was about to throw up and I was like, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> I can't do it anymore. And we were carrying the water cases too. And we were carrying the water cases too. Bro, I want to do that again. Bro, when I, when I go, when I come back in December, you're not down. <gasps> I'm down. I'm so down, dude. Bro, That's gonna be so much nostalgia. No goddamn mountain to you. Like, you know how, like, you would look in, like, how we would joke about how, like, every, everywhere you look, like, we were surrounded by, like, mountains? Yeah. Like, legit, there's, like, everywhere you look around here, and, like, there's just more buildings and more light. Oof. I don't know which one's worse. Well, let's be honest here, it's the mountains. <laughs> yeah. Well, it's because I, I feel, I mean, I would feel pretty claustrophobic if, like, all you saw was just buildings and nothing else. But at the same time, I feel claustrophobic with the damn mountains surrounding us here. So, yeah. Bro, I don't know why they would always tell us this, this as kids, but, like, you know how, like, they said, like, if the, what's that damn fault? Huh? The little fault thing, like, like, fault? yeah, in California, San Andreas. You don't, you don't know what I'm talking about. No. Am I saying it right? San Andreas, the fault. The, the fault. Yeah. Am I saying? Am I like smoking some? Am I on <laughs> something? Well, I mean, I, don't, I honestly don't even know what you're talking about. Okay, it's, search it up on Google. San Andreas Fault. Fault? How the hell you spell fault? Like, it's your fault. <laughs> I think I'm saying oh, it wrong. Okay. The San Andreas Fault is a continental transform fault that extends roughly 1.2 thousand kilometers through California, it forms the tectonic boundary between the Pacific Plate and the North American Plate, and its motion is right lateral strike. Okay, you don't have to give us the damn stats. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta give us the, the length and width. <laughs> Anyways, you don't remember? No. So apparently if, that, if Homeboy breaks, like all the water is going to spew out of California. First of all, California is going to get flooded. And like since we're like, since AZ is like, oh. or Phoenix is like in a little like ditch or whatever like uh -huh. it would just like pour in like 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 oh. a cup like the water would just pour in like a cup what the heck you don't remember that no nah, no one's ever told me that in my life how 
<laughs> you, I don't know. Man. They're like, <laughs> the way you just said how, man, you got me dying. <laughs> bro. <Bruh. How? laughs> bro, everybody used to say that. They're, that was like the main thing they would say to us whenever they were like, oh, protect the environment type beat. Really? I do not remember that. They're like, they were like, if homeboy breaks, like, the flood, like, the Red Sea is gonna, like, come out here. Like, y'all are gonna, like, since, Holy cow. since, like, Phoenix is built different, you know how, like, we're surrounded by mountains? It's kind of like a cup, like, like, the city is, yeah. like, the bottom of the cup. And, like, yeah. the mountains are, like, the thing the holding, sides. yeah. So, like, if it floods, like, Homeboy is just gonna, like, pour inside the cup, and we're just gonna be drowning. Come Atlantis. Damn. That's scary. You don't remember that? Like... No, dude. I've never heard that in my See, life. See, because they would tell us that all the time. They're like, if you guys don't protect the planet, y'all are just gonna, like, <laughs> become, like, sperm, the bottom of a well. Jesus. I don't even know what, yeah. I, what I meant by that, but... <laughs> I felt the vibes. Don't worry. I get you. <laughs> Damn. Wait, what, what point were you trying to make with this? <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> what was I what was I on? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? Uh so you were saying What was I on? Uh something about like the mountains. Oh was... claustrophobic. But how did we get here? We were I swear to God we were talking about peaks so like <laughs> a minute <laughs> ago. <laughs> Damn it. Well uh you were saying I think it was that I was saying that like that I wouldn't like to be surrounded by buildings. Yeah, but, like, what were what, what we doing before that? Because I don't see how we humanely, like, <laughs> talked about a pizza and then talked about, like, the world ending. No, we talked about the hiking after the pizza. Oh, okay. Okay, I get it now. Okay, I was talking about, like, McDonald's breakfast. Because we were talking about BK and then McDonald's. <laughs> and then yeah. hiking and then the world ending. <laughs> it makes perfect sense. <laughs> <laughs> With the world ending? What the hell? <laughs> Moral of the story is if you eat BK, you're going to be the reason why the world ends and the San Andreas oh, fault no. <laughs> breaks and collapses. What the? You know what? Yeah, all right. I agree. Whack ass food. Man. <laughs> wow. That was fun. <laughs> it's very fun. Wow. Well, that's. That marks, what, an hour and a half? I think we're done. Unless you got Does something it? else. Let me check. Yeah, we started like. A... I I'm I'm gonna say no. Oh. Oh, one hour twenty two minutes. You. Yeah. We're almost there. Damn. Okay, so. I guess since we didn't talk about this, the PS Five. Oh yeah. Um. Okay. First of all. Yes. Okay, Turnick, you're like getting hyped over nothing because Faven does not play games. This man is uncultured. And me personally, <laughs> I am too broke to afford a PS5. <laughs> okay, so did you see the. Okay, I don't even know why I asked. You're just uncultured. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there was this guy. Oh my god, I don't know where to start. You know how they'd be scalping the switches? Scalping? Yeah, the switches, like the Nintendo Switch. No, what the hell is scalping? You're lying. There's no <laughs> way. Tell me you're, please tell me you're like <laughs> muting right now. I'm not. No, you're, there's no way. <laughs> I, I'm about to end this damn podcast. The first of weeks and now the This man doesn't know about like the San Andreas fault potentially be. <laughs> <laughs> like for real <laughs> I'm oh hyping. man bruh scalping you actually don't know what scalping mean? is like no please tell me you're serious bro like please tell me you're I'm not a, 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 a college student who went through the IB the international <laughs> bachelor bachelorette whatever it's called program you know that ain't nobody <laughs> learned anything from IB <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> what is scalping? Okay, apparently Turnick doesn't know either, which I I feel like he's just playing devil's advocate. 
Yeah, nah, I, nah. Am I, am I saying it wrong? Like, I I know I, I've been, like, fumbling my words. Bro, what is it? Just say what See, it now, is. See, now I have to, like, search it up because I feel like I'm an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Bro, what, what is scalping? Well, first of all, there's two definitions. The first one okay. is when you take someone's scalp off. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, yeah. Scalping meaning hold up. Okay, I, I was not okay, I was not capping. Okay. He's never heard of it referred to as, as scalping. That's that's hard to believe because I feel like everyone uses how else would you describe this when you resell something for a higher price? That's not scalping. What the That's scalping. Who calls it that? I call it no, that. Are you guys trolling? That's a resale, bro. That's a whole. That's a whole. No, like, there's no way I'm being. Tro- am I being trolled right now? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like. Bro, you just straight up aftermarketing. It. You guys are you posting like, cringe. Like when you're flipping the. Flipping? The, the Nobody uses flipping. What are we in the 18th century? Bro, everyone uses flip. No one uses I mean, not flip. Even flip. It's just resell. It's just resell. You just you're just flipping the price for like double the price. Is that what you're talking about? Yes, but it's scalping. Um, ain't nobody use. Who says scalping? Everybody says scalping. Hey, bro, <laughs> I refuse <laughs> to believe that I am surrounded by you people who know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh my! Like, how do you not know yeah, about? I keep tripping. I am not tripping. Bro, who who says? Oh yeah, let me scalp this PlayStation. That sounds like you better like neuter it, bro. You better like skin that boy. Oh my you god! It. You you know when you buy like a pair of shoes that like are worth more money than you bought it for, you're like, you, I'm about to flip these shoes, man. You flipping it for a good price? Did not I? I didn't know I was surrounded by ignorant people. I thought oh I I know god. I know this is called the high school dropouts, but I didn't know you guys are serious. <laughs> Bro. Oh my god! Anyway, scalping is when you resell an item for a higher price. I can't believe I have to explain this. Anyways, homeboy was scalping. Oh my god! I can't even. Homeboy was reselling. Yeah. Homeboy resell. was flipping, <laughs> as the cool kids say homeboy? it. Some random guy <laughs> on Twitter. <laughs> he bought like uh, he bought like thirty four PS fives. Damn. It was like, and he tweeted, he tweeted, oh my god, he tweeted the thing or whatever. He tweeted a picture about it, and he was like, "I'm gonna resell these for like a thousand dollars." Like, like, get mad, loser. Yeah. Damn. So like the PS Five, I don't know if you know this, Fabian, but it's five hundred dollars, I think. Oh, that is like four. No, I think it's five hundred. I think the digital might be four hundred. Anyways, homeboy was selling it for a thousand dollars. He was making double the. It was yeah, he was making profit. Yeah. Anyways, Twitter wasn't having it. They were like, "You're not gonna be scalping PS fives, like, like you we." They were having like PTSD flashbacks to when homeboys were scalping hand sanitizers. Oh yeah, and like the <laughs> mask and everything. <laughs> Anyways. Twitter decided to take actions into their own hands, and they doxed Homeboy. Do you know what is doxing it? is? Okay. Yeah, they. Well, not really. Yeah, they <laughs> pretty much like, like they they revealed this man's like address. Oh my god! <laughs> so now everybody knows where there's like like a damn cabin full of thirty oh PS fives. That's terrible. Wait, how did they? Who doxed them? It was Twitter. I don't know. Twit? Actually, Twitter? No, like, like, not like, actually, like the people on Twitter. Oh, okay. I was like, I thought you meant but like Twitter themselves. <laughs> nah, bro. But yeah. Damn. Bro, that's kind of trash. Because, like, I mean, obviously you shouldn't do that. Like, you shouldn't buy PlayStation and flip them like that. But to be fair, that's like that's a businessman right there. You know, like he's just trying to make his money. See, it's. I feel yeah. like you would have done that too, Fabian. And you know, quite. Low you. Key. I probably would. <laughs> and I would have doxed you. Wait, I what can't. The- I can't say that. I might get. Okay, I, never mind. I would have. <laughs> I would have respected hey, your choice. 
<laughs> I don't like you saying that because you you legit can. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, you know the life. funny thing is, you actually don't know where I live now. <laughs> yeah, I know where your family live though. Oh so wait, your dog. Your oh bro, right, not my dog. <laughs> That's gonna call <laughs> animal control. I might die. <laughs> Damn, but um. I mean, bro, doxing is too far. That's crazy. Anyways, I'm going to be gone for the next couple of days. I'm going to go take a trip, pay homeboy a visit. Do you want something? Oh. oh the <laughs> do you want, which, which one do you prefer, Fabian? Digital or physical? I, I like the digital, not going to lie. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll make sure to, to get one for you. Thanks. Thank you, thank you. And give me like two, though. Let me, let me sell another one. <laughs> Damn. Anyways, yeah, that was that was crazy. <laughs> so moral of the story is don't scalp. And please learn your vocabulary next time. Oh my god. <laughs> no, you're not talking, bro. Uh, okay. Uh, fine, you got me there. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> and I'm excited for this next generation of consoles, even though I will not be buying one anytime soon. Actually, Turnic, do you have a PS5 or an Xbox One? Not even Xbox Series X, my bad. You're gonna... I doubt it. We just got He's called. called illiterate life. <laughs> no, 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 no. He's no, a little no. backed up. That's not what happened, bro. <laughs> I'm yeah, illiterate. I'm illiterate. <laughs> I'm illiterate. Not you guys. You guys just don't know what words mean. <laughs> it's a huge difference. Says of course not. He ain't got no PS5. Um, hey, Nick, you got to work oh, on bro, that. No one has a PS5. Mm, Ternic needs to get one. Why? I don't know. He oh. just needs to. <laughs> Damn. Okay. <laughs> um, dude, I don't, I don't know anybody that got a PS5. Like, the only people I've seen with one is like YouTubers and girls. I'm, okay, I'm gonna struggle reading this. This my illiteracy is gonna <laughs> be unveiled here. <laughs> I'm illiterately illiterate. Okay, I nailed it. But yeah, um, think he meant to say literally. I actually don't know. <laughs> <laughs> How are you illiterately illiterate? <laughs> I think that's just a joke. Yeah, I think so too. I hope so. I, I hope for his sake. I hope for his sake. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, what were you going to say about the PlayStation? I'm excited for it. Oh, right. Yeah. I hope it's worth the money, but because that, that crap is expensive. It is 1,000 <laughs> trillion, gugillion percent worth it. Really? Yes. Why? What's the big difference? It's 4K 60 frames per second, bruh. Okay, besides that. The PC I got. Homeboy $2,000? It could barely oh, run yeah. 4K 60. Like, that boy be like 4K, like, maybe 50 frames. Oh, dang. Okay, never mind. It's, and it's $500, and it's just worth it. That's true. Also, the, the damn graphics card... It's going for a thousand dollars right now. Just the graphic Jesus. card I bought. And I'm about oh, to I'm about to flip that boy. As Fabian likes yeah. to say it. <laughs> damn, I can't believe you're spending so much money on stuff. I can never. Thousand bucks? Bro, it hurts me to scan my card for like a twenty dollar item. Bro, we're like still that. failing. No matter how much I upgrade, we're just still gonna be failures. <laughs> Jesus. Now your audio sounds clean. Yeah, it's your PC going and like clean? the grand scheme of things, it's garbage. Like, okay, but compared to <laughs> my freaking laptop mic, bro, you're chilling. Yeah, bro, I'm glad you're here. You you make me really make me shine. Damn, I'm really the wingman of the mic. Remember back in the day when we legit just couldn't upload episodes because they were that bad. Like we we like we did the episode, we just couldn't. Film it because it was unbearable to hear. <laughs> um, That's how bad episode two. Episode two. <laughs> yeah. 
Why don't we even record that? I don't even know. I think we're just that like dedicated. Like we're like we're gonna record this episode. And, like, was it like on a phone call or something, bro? No, it was Discord. It was Discord. Yep. Damn. But I was I was using my my actual like laptop mic. Like I don't know if you know this, but like the MacBook be loud, like the fans. Yeah. They be louder than a PS4. And do you know where the mic is? It's literally right by next. It's by the fan. So it was capturing the fan more than it was my voice. Damn. Yeah, that was awful. I don't know how I, I bear with that. <laughs> not how you guys no, I, bear with that. I don't know either. I swear, I'm just gonna buy a mic, bro. Cause, I mean, I was borrowing one. As you know. Did he not and, give uh, it back? Did he? Did he? Not yet. Uh, how scandalous of <laughs> yeah, him to, uh, to take his own mic <laughs> back own mic. <laughs> and not give it back to you. I know, God. <laughs> so basically, for you guys, I my friend let me borrow his mic for a little bit. And I thought that it was going to stay here forever. And like occasionally, it would be taken back. Which it happened recently. They, it got taken back. But it hasn't been <laughs> returned to me, even though I'm not the owner, so I can't complain. <laughs> but honestly, I think I'm just going to buy my own mic. So I feel like you have, a, kind of you're, you have a rightful place to complain. <laughs> you know, honestly, huh? The people, yeah. the people demand. The people need it. <laughs> the people <yeah>. need it. <laughs> that <laughs> aggregate <laughs> demand. He is the people. Facts. I don't even know what that means anymore. I, uh, wish I, I don't know. Ah. <laughs> <sighs> But yeah, honestly, I'm just going to splurge. Might as well. But. Yeah, so if you can help me find a mic. that's I've been that's telling you, but you're me. just you're just ignorant. Like, you refuse to. Bro, I searched up the mic you told me, and that crap was not good. What do you know mean what it used? wasn't good? It said it was a, what was it, a uh well it was that it wasn't a condenser mic and that condenser mics are best used for what i'm looking for bro i don't trust it until you hear it just look up an right. actual review of the mic because that's what you're gonna be, they're gonna be talking through the mic <laughs> and like yeah, it's like some youtubers even like actually like perform songs oh damn they do like a speaking test and they do like a music test or whatever. Um, okay. Well, I'll do that right after this because I don't know. I just need, I need to get my cup <laughs> Don't you have a movie to, to pirate? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I have to pirate a movie right now for a class, bro. I have to enroll into my you have to visit pirate school next semester. Honestly. I, gotta, I got priorities right now. That's why I haven't even been thinking about the mic that much because this week has been kind of crazy in terms of just like schoolwork and stuff. Bro, I'm failing math. Yeah. Remember how it's I like was the, on track to pass? Again? Why, why are you acting like I, I should be surprised? <laughs> you should, because I was on track to pass. <laughs> oh, I should actually. I've been, Damn. I've been, I've been putting work. Yeah. <laughs> right, it's because I didn't help you that one day. That's why you're failing. <laughs> no, no, no. So, what happened is, freaking the test was today. And usually my teacher makes the test open for a week from the day that it's open. Oh, no. So are you telling so, me you didn't take another exam? Yeah, pretty much. Because, <laughs> dude, so he, he usually leaves the test open for a week, which means if it opens, open, it'll be, it'll be open until next Friday. And so my plan was I have 40 topics left, right? So in order to unlock the test, for the class, you have to do like a certain amount of objectives, like work in the class. And for me, I had 40 objectives left until I could take the test. And I usually do 20 a week. So I was going to do 20 this week and 20 next week. And I would have been done. That said, he usually that does do. 20. Yeah, I, I do. I do. That's I, thought it was, I thought it was 10. No. What? Oh. No, it's because usually I'll do 10 and then you'll help me with like the other 10. You know? <laughs> That's probably why you're thinking... <laughs> But uh, yeah. So I'm like my I was like right on track. Cause I was like, that's fine. I'll just take the test next Friday. But for some reason, my teacher was like, "Hey, 
we're gonna make the test due today and only today so if that sucks then that sucks and i'm like well I guess i'm gonna fail because i just don't get to take a whole exam but whatever that's tough so you have enough For is that what i'm hearing probably i mean if you miss a whole exam it's over but it's whatever i'm dropping out anyway it just sucks that i spent like the whole semester like trying to get it up for no reason that's unfortunate so, all my effort down the drain i know <laughs> Bro, that, that try, sounds like though. sounds like my my, my damn relationships <laughs> all that effort <laughs> i put into the release down the drain i know r.i.p damn just l's i'm it's sure you'll be fine we move. <laughs> yeah i feel like okay. somehow you always prevail Oh. Yeah, you're like a damn cockroach. <laughs> <laughs> okay, never mind. I said, oh, and I'm <laughs> take it back. <laughs> For odd God, if like, yeah, that makes sense. if there was like a nuke, like, like if there was like <laughs> end of the world situation, I like even if I died, I like I know damn well you you'd be around. <laughs> <laughs> like you, you're just like a survivor. <laughs> In like the worst way. <laughs> I'm over here thinking you're complimenting me, but you're just like, no, you're just like a pest that stays alive for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> it's true, though. Like, I've managed to graduate high school without even, like, doing anything. I just got lucky because COVID saved me. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's facts. <sighs> well, anyways, on that note, <laughs> on the cockroach note, <laughs> you got anything else, or are we about to wrap it up? Um, oh, my God, my voice. Eating 16 wings was not a good idea. My chest hurts. Are you eating it throughout the podcast? Yeah. God, <laughs> man, I didn't even notice, dude. Honestly. No, nah, but I was like looking away from the mic. <laughs> like, oh, okay. uh, like I did like a, like a demon type beat and like I, like an owl. <laughs> like I turned my head when eight, when 80 degrees. <laughs> oh, no. It's 180. Yeah, if, if I know, <laughs> if it's three sixty, it'd be back to the mic. <laughs> should have had me eat the wings, bro. Next time, next time we should have, uh, what's that thing called where you just eat a mukbang? A uh, uh, mukbang. Yeah, or, uh, we should have one of those. I don't know why people like that crap. That's so weird. It's like a podcast, but like people are eating. <laughs> like, what's the point? <laughs> you just watch people eat, and now you get hungry. Bro, I just, I don't know. I usually don't eat, but like, since we were in such a rush, just didn't have time to eat. Bro, I just, I lied, okay. I just didn't have 16 brownies. I mean, okay, I just exposed myself. (laughs) I just didn't have 16 (laughs) wings. I also had two slices of pizza. And I have 16 brownies waiting for me to eat them. And I'm about to eat them. So you you said you're ready for this mug thing. I'm ready, bro. <laughs> yeah, as long as you don't pull out the Burger King or the Papa John's, bro, we good to go. Bro, the saddest thing was just like <laughs> carrying the damn chicken wings and brownies to my dorm. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm having a whole feast to myself. <laughs> um... Okay, I don't want to make your hot block. I'm like, why do I keep saying it reverse? Your block hot. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, this goes for Turnic too. But um, something interesting you might want to know about Turnic here is that he's actually, I think he's studying for music engineering. If I'm correct, am I correct, Turnic? Oh, music engineering. Yes. That's sick. I didn't even know that was a major. I, I don't know. I might be wrong. Don't don't get your hopes I up yet. I would have done that if I knew. That's such a sick major. I love the... It's a bit delayed here. Or maybe he laughed. One of the two. <laughs> no, it's just delayed. It's delayed. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you don't know this, Turnic, our host here, should I make your hot... Um, what did you... <laughs> should I make your block hot? <laughs> no, no, no. Don't, don't, make it, don't make it hella hot. Just a little bit hot. Oh, well, you can make it hot for yourself because I don't know. Okay, but... I'm gonna make it warm. I'm, I'm, I'm a, uh, I am a uh, 
I'm a light skin, as you know. And uh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> as a light as light skins tend to do you know i i delve in the music world a little bit so you know i'm you He's know I, i'm like pretty with the black hearts yeah I, i've dabbled in there so you know i i mean i just like produce beats i sometimes record music i i'm like i got like a whole well i used to have a whole mic in here and a midi keyboard and everything so you know i wanted to go to school to study like music production too and everything like that but School's not for me. Okay, so you did confirm music, engineering, and tech. Wait, is that like on the production side of things, or is that like the whole classical type? Of... No, that sounds like the production type. Okay, so that's it. I just wanted to briefly introduce it that way. It's something we can look forward to, and we actually have turning. Yeah, that's it. It's dope. That you guys can discuss about your. <laughs> About you know how it's like to produce music or whatever. Uh, I'm not very no, yeah. musically gifted myself. Yeah, but you know what the process is like. You made a song too. <laughs> and, you know, if y'all want me to like tap in with some Hidal Guard or whatever, <laughs> some Bach. Yeah, yeah technically you're, you're, you know more than me because you be you be studying that crap. <laughs> some Gregorian chants or whatever they're called or i can't believe i'm actually taking a class on gregorian chants Jesus, and like the thing is that it, like they like pre-enrolled me for the next semester too so i'm stuck oh. like i didn't have an option they just like pre-enrolled me so <laughs> it is what it is you know it if y'all if, if y'all want to get insight on secular music i'm your boy <laughs> Damn. <sighs> well, yeah. Anyway, I think that's been us for today. Unless Pretty. You got anything else? I'd say this is a very decent episode of Five yeah, May. Yeah, this was this is uh, this is pretty fun. It was had a, a, a barrel of laughs. Okay, great. Gregorian, Gregorian chant puts people to sleep. That's a fact. But you, it's a class hey. I'm taking. I had no choice. You gotta hook it up then, because I be having them sleep problems, be taking pills and everything. Gregorian music it is. Do you prefer your chants to be Latin or German? You know what? Germans be popping out, bro. Let's hit it up. Okay. I I got a couple German composers. <laughs> all right well anyway Anyways. i'm gonna listen to this sleepy music by the time i go to sleep in like an hour or so because wait don't you like night. overdose on like mullet melatonin or whatever don't I don't you overdose. don't you be, don't you be popping pills <laughs> <laughs> yes i'm like i don't know if you hear this oh bro they said right that there. sounds empty bro you've been feasting on those <laughs> I, I hear like three pills in there <laughs> wait what did you say? how many did you say three <laughs> Bro, no word of a lie. There's exactly three. You're pills. lying. You oh my I god. Send you a pic- <laughs> exactly three pills in this cup. Hey, bro. I, I might was- wait. I might be musically gifted then in the art of drugs. Yeah, <laughs> this man's a, a prodigy, bro. This man just heard three pills exactly. Oh, I, you, oh my god, bro. You just baffled me. I'm about to put the the pills in the in the Discord because I'm amazed. <laughs> Honestly. Here we go. Hold on. Okay. But anyway, <laughs> I feel like what if there's um, like more pills, but you just like swallowed the rest to make it three? Just right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. I still got a shower and everything. <laughs> do you see it in the chat? Oh, oh you can. I cause... can't see it because. Oh yeah, you can. Yeah, it's in the Discord. I mean, let me go to. Let me use my phone then. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Up. <laughs> okay, I can't confirm there are three pills in there. <laughs> and Turner can also <laughs> confirm that there's three pills in there because he joined the Discord. Yeah, but anyway, I don't OD on melatonin. I just, you know, I be having them sleep issues sometimes. So, you know, I be taking a pillar here, a pillar two here and there. But anyway, it's been a fantastic episode. It's been a lot of fun. Um, we met Turnig. We talked about just about everything from pizza to marriage. I don't know how we <laughs> did that. Cannibalism. But, uh, cannibalism. <laughs> the whole thing. <laughs> but yeah, it was fun. 
Um, if you guys didn't know already, we stream on the Sorry for Bothering You channel on Twitch every Friday for these podcasts. So you come join us. We do this every Friday night around like 5 p.m. ish Arizona time to like 9 <laughs> p.m., which it is 10 p.m. Whatever. You are doing it so wrong. <laughs> what? It's, I think it's 6 p.m. 6 p.m. PST. Nah. Or 5 p.m. Not PST. Is it MST? Yeah, Arizona's MST. I always thought it was PST. I always use PST, and it like always worked for me. I so. mean, it's yeah, it's pretty close because that's like California time, which I think is the same. It's so the I same. Know. I, anyway, I, yeah. I just know we're mountain. Oh yeah. Anyways, anyway. <laughs> for you, Central Turnic is like East Coast, by the way. So this legit doesn't even apply to him. Oh. <laughs> oh. Yeah, you could you could cover them. I don't know. Whatever. It was a good episode. See y'all. <laughs> yeah, just know it's Friday nights. Come join the stream. If not, just subscribe to the channel. We post every weekend at least one podcast, even if it's just sorry on his own. But yeah, it was fun. See you guys next week. Peace out.